He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to work, work, walk humbly with thy God. Good afternoon. I want to thank first the Commission on the Status of Women for this great honor, and to be among those who have been honored in the past with the Margaret Brent Award. But I also want to thank my family, which consists of my husband, Fred Buckine, my two sisters, Barbara Everett and Mary Davis, uh, other members of my family and friends who have come here uh, to participate and be here for this occasion. I really appreciate your support and your love. And I also uh, thank all of you, other members of the legal profession for being here and for supporting me. This is a great honor. Uh, when I was told that uh, I would receive one of the Margaret Brent Awards, I knew who Margaret Brent was, but quite frankly, I did not know a lot about Margaret Brent. And so I did what all good lawyers do, is some research. And unfortunately, uh, in today's uh, age, you can find out a lot about people by going to that new search engine, Google. So I Googled Margaret Brent, and in fact found out a lot about Margaret Brent's contributions to this country, which not only included being the first woman lawyer, and in the 1600s, that has to be even more remarkable. But Margaret Brent was also a landowner at a time when women certainly did not own land. And she was involved in politics at a time when women were not involved in politics. So we really have some truly big shoes to fill. Uh, today, uh, the, one of the goals of the ABA is goal nine, which says to promote full and equal participation of minorities women, and persons with disabilities in the legal profession. And the mission of the commission, to secure the full and equal participation of women in the ABA, the legal profession, and the justice system. These are all still laudable goals that all of us, all people of good conscience, need to continue to aspire to. And especially those of us who, in the words of Micah, want to do justly, seek mercy, and work, walk humbly with God. I look back on my life and my career, and I must pause and really give thanks to one of the most important people in my life, and that is my father, Solomon Quince, who is not with us and was not really an educated person, but he taught me a lot. And he taught all of us that one of the most important things in life is to seek an education and to help others along the way. And I hope that uh, during the course of my life, and I hope that I will continue to help others along the way, it's not important that we become a first it is important that others come after us. So being the first on any court, in any law firm, in any business, whatever, it's only truly important if each of us will reach out a hand and help someone else. It is truly important for each one of us to teach someone else because there's still much to do. There are still disparities in salaries among women and men. There are still too few women judges on our benches across uh, the state. There are still too few women who are senior partners in our law firms, too few legislators, mayors, governors, and certainly sometime in the very near future, we should have a woman president of the United States. <laughs> so
So again, I'd like to thank the ABA Commission on the Status of Women for this recognition. I am truly honored and humbled to be a part of a fraternity that includes, or sorority, that includes so many outstanding women. Thank you so much for this recognition.